what is item level, field level, and dictionary level fallback? Let us check out this quickly. So let's see uh, different types of a fallback in uh, Sitecore. So Sitecore basically has a two type of a fallback. First is item level fallback. Item level fallback enables you to set up an empty item version in a given language so that it fallbacks to another language version, including all its fields. In this way, you can launch a new language version of your entire website without creating any items in the new language in the content database. So basically, you have a home item. Okay, let's assume that you have a home item. So uh, for the English language, for the global English language, that is EN language, and you want to set up a new uh, website for EN, IN, and it will have all the contents of a home page from the home page language the, uh, of uh, English, then there is no need to create any version of a English India language, EN, IN language. Okay, if you set up, a fallback for that ENIN language as a EN language, then the uh, at uh, and also enable the item level fallback. Then the content will be pulled back from the EN uh, uh, EN language to the ENIN language, even without a creating an item versions. Not only that item, but all the field values also will get uh, get uh, pulled from the EN language to the ENIN language. So that is item level fallback. Second is a field level fallback. Field level fallback enables you to specify a single field which field values that you want to localize and which field values that you want to fallback to another language. So in this field uh, field level fallback as name suggests is at a field level. So again we will get, uh, take the same example home uh, page okay for English language in home page there might be a, some uh, field like uh, maybe a title, not not a title. Let's say let's say an example of a logo. Okay, so logo uh, you want to have the uh, uh, fallback or a title you want to have a fallback. Okay, so in that case, what will happen is the title of the page. Okay, uh, let's take an example of title only. So title of the page in the EN that is a global language. You want to fall back as for the uh, uh, ENIN language, okay? So in that case, what will happen is if you set up the field level fallback, so you want you should go at uh, that field level that is the title field. There you set up the fallback. Then in that case, you should be having a uh, ENIN should have the version, okay? It, that that item will have a version, but the field the title value is not there. It will be picked from the. Uh, uh, from the en uh, en field so that is how it should it is work and then you have a dictionary level so two are uh, the basic type of a fallback but dictionary also has a fallback that uses a uh, by default item level fallback okay so in the dictionary if you create a dictionary for a uh, en but not for the en and then all that uh, and it is a fallback is set up then all the content from the en will be displayed into the en in so that is how it works so these are the type of a fallback for complete details of Sitecore language fallback, please refer our YouTube video. Sitecore language fallback, ensuring consistent content with ease. Click link given on screen for same video.